All right, everyone. So, hello. Um, this is just a quick little. I don't have an intro yet. I'm uh, gonna start filming here pretty quick for the world premiere of the new Reptablog, and which you're gonna be seeing here in a couple seconds. And what it's all about is I'm getting back into breeding again. I've got the animals, but not really the setup to do it. I'm gonna pair a couple tonight. We're gonna be working on the setup, and basically. 50% uh, of this new Raptor vlog, it's going to be uh, just like a new show, not just the old randomness it used to be. 50% of that is going to be following the whole breeding process and everything, and the other 50% is I'm hoping that I can put together a little Irwin slash Corwin sort of thing with my own twist, taking you guys out in the wild when I'm looking for snakes, and you know, teaching you about them, finding them and just having a good old time while I'm doing it. So uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so what I have here is a male ghost corn snake and I'm planning on putting him together with this female albino you might see behind me here. Now, I've put them together a few times before with absolutely no luck. They've been separated for a while now and I'm hoping the luck's gonna change tonight. I know the, uh, the ghost and the, the albino pairing is, is nothing new. A lot of people have done it, but the last time I did it, I, the morphs that came out, I think I got four or five different color and pattern morphs out of the one clutch. Unfortunately, they were all pretty much premature and none of them made it. I, I think two of them made it for like a week, but that was it. So to follow is going to be the, you know, one of the best parts of what we do. Um, you're going to see what happens, how it happens, and um, you know, th this, is, this is where it all begins right here.
Now you may notice one sign lifting his tail up like that. That's always what the male's done. When I used to breed him before, and you see he's using those kind of jerky movements. That, from my understanding, was a, a sign of excitement that, um, you know, he's getting ready to do his thing. Well, as you just saw, we had absolutely no luck, and you know that just goes to show that you can't just put two things together and tell nature what to do. We're going to go ahead and uh, leave these two kids alone together for a little while and see what happens, and hopefully coming up here soon, we're going to have some eggs to look at.